13 business journaling techniques that give me epic growth. Here are all of the reasons why I use journaling for business growth and all of the different journaling techniques that I use every month in my business. Today I'm sharing all of the different ways that I personally use journaling to help me grow my business on a regular basis. My name is Kath Kyle and I lead the Hustle Less Manifest More movement. I help content creators and change makers manifest business success through spirituality, self-belief and strategy. And I help you master your marketing, manifestation and money mindset. I would love to know, do you use journaling for your own business? I would love to know how you use journaling for business success because I am absolutely loving everything journaling related and if you use journaling for a different way that I am not aware of, I would love to hear about it so I can also try it out. And I'd love to know what's working for you and what's not working for you. And I'd also really like to know what you think of my content, what you like best, what improvements you'd like to see in the future and ask me if you've got any questions and then I can help you. So let me know by leaving a comment on my blog, YouTube channel or sending me a DM on Instagram at Kath underscore Kyle. And just to let you know that you can read this um, content via blog post. I have created a blog post originally and then I create a version of it which is a podcast and also a YouTube video of it. So you can subscribe to my podcast by going to my blog post or going to the, the um, show notes surrounding this content piece and clicking the link there or getting the link to the blog post there. And all of the content that I'm going to be referring to in this content piece, there are links to it within the blog post. So that's where you can go to get all of that content that I'm referring to. So here are the business journaling techniques that give me epic growth. So I have a confession to make. I am an absolute journal addict and I actually made a TikTok video that shares why I use 12 different journals per day. And this might sound a bit, bit over the top, but I do believe that there is a very good reason for using all of those different journals. And um, I have a link to that TikTok video in my blog post so you can see it's embedded in there so you can check that out and you can see all of the 12 journals that I use per day and I actually recorded that a while ago and I think I use more now so <laughs> it just gets crazier. Um, however today I am not talking about all of the different journals that I use but I am talking about the journaling techniques which is a little bit different because some of the techniques I use the same journal for so it is slightly different. So I am sharing all of the different ways that I use journaling to grow my business. And there are so many different ways to use journaling, so many different journaling techniques. And I did create a piece of content very recently talking about how I became obsessed with journaling in the, in the first place. And um, that piece of content was called how I use my daily stamp journal for business elevation. So that goes into detail into one journal and how I got into journaling in the first place. So go and check that out. But today I want to share why I love journaling so much and my techniques that I use as well. So I wanted to share the benefits of journaling for business success, why I actually use journaling in the first place. So out of all of the manifestation tools that I use, journaling is by far my very favorite. Journaling is just so flexible. You can do a million different things with just a pen and a piece of paper. And I am a very creative person. So journaling is a great way for me to get my thoughts and my creations from my head onto paper, which is also a way of manifesting thoughts into reality. I also find that journaling really helps you to get complete clarity about what you want and also help you to notice what you are struggling with when you commit pen to paper. Just the simple act of writing something down means you've taken direct action towards something that's very important to you. And that sends a clear signal to God or the universe that you are serious and you mean business. And I also love journaling because my mind is much less likely to wander because I'm doing something tangible with my body. Visualization and meditation are 
great manifest manifestation practices but if you're like me and your mind can tend to wander something crazy then it can feel a bit frustrating as you're not getting the full benefits out of the technique whereas when you do journaling journaling forces you to focus your mind and your actions on the task that you've set about to do Journaling also provides a record of your thoughts so that you can look back at a later date and remember what you were actually manifesting and what you were also struggling with at the time so that you can see how far you've come and what you've manifested in the meantime. And I find that really exciting because I don't remember most of my thoughts, but I do love to look back at my journals and see the evidence of my growth. It is just such a fun process. So now that you know why I love journaling so much, here are all of the journaling techniques that I use on a regular basis to help boost my business. Number one, daily manifestation. Every morning I write a list of my current desires and what I want to manifest. And this helps me get clear on what I am creating. I have a manifestation journal that I use just for this purpose and in this journal I start a new page and date the page and I give it the title intentions. By calling this list intentions it gives me more ownership over what I am intending and what happens in my life. Number two, second technique is scripting. Each morning I read my monthly script. Each day and also each month, I do a practice called scripting, which means to write out exactly what you want to happen as if it's already happened. Scripting is a manifestation tool that I use every single day to attract a lot of success into my business and life in general. And when I first started scripting, I had no idea that it was about to change my life in a massive way way. It totally transformed my whole life and I got to create the life of my dreams which is what I'm now living and that's why I'm such a fan of this technique and that's how I ended up with my dream house that I'm just about to move into. My house overlooking the waterfront, the sea view house which is absolutely stunning. Um, and I have a piece of content called how to use scripting for success in your business. And I have a link to that within the blog post as well. The third technique I use is my stamp statement. Each morning I read my stamp statement and a stamp statement is a declaration of my 3G goals, my gratitude goal, which is what I want to manifest, my giving goals, which is what I want to create or sell and my growing goals, which is what I want, to, how I want to grow and become the most successful version of myself. And I read this statement every day to remind myself of my mission and purpose. So it directs everything that I do each day. And this statement also helps me to manifest what I want because it's written in such a way that it helps me to step into that version of myself that already has what I want. And it has been proven that those who read their goals on a daily basis are so much more likely to achieve them. And if you don't keep your goals at the forefront of your mind, you will very easily forget them. And this is because you're not yet in a habit of working towards them as you only just set your goals. So we have to keep reminding the subconscious mind that not only do we have goals, but we have already achieved our goals and the stamp statement is the way to do it. Number four, the abundance log. An abundance log is used to track all of the abundance that you have received each day of the month. And this task usually just takes a few minutes every day while I'm checking my daily stats. The more sales you make, the longer this task will take, which of course is a good problem to have. And at that point you could outsource a lot of it to your team. And I started off by writing down all of my new payments received in a journal that I called my abundance log. But after a while, I decided to transfer my system to a spreadsheet on the computer so it would automatically calculate the total that I had already made per month, which set my mind at rest, at rest and gave me more to be grateful for. The fifth technique is a bog standard diary. The very first task that I start off doing in the evening is not something that I feel is essential for manifestation, but I still want to tell you about it anyway, just in case it's something that you want to do. The first thing I do is write a plain old diary. 
I use a page a day diary and I just write all of the things that have happened that day. And it can really be quite boring if you were just to read it back. And I actually avoid putting very much emotion into my diary because I often save the emotion for my journaling where I've got more space to write about my feelings because a page a day diary, you've only got that one page to write about your day so I just keep it very factual and there are several reasons why I like to keep a record of my day. Number one, I really love my life and it's really important to me and I don't want to forget it and even if a lot of my life does sound a bit boring in my diary, when the kids are old and have moved out it will be so much fun to look back at the weekends that we spent together when I've added more fun things that we've done together as a family. Number two, I really love to be able to see when things manifested for me. I have a record of all of my intentions that I want to manifest and the diary is a record of things actually manifesting and I really love to see how long it takes for things to manifest and if I didn't record my actual life, I'd never be able to notice these kind of things. And the third reason is that it really helps me to get my day out onto the page so that I can relax for sleep. It helps me to decompress my thoughts, otherwise conversations tend to keep replaying on repeat in my brain, even boring conversations for some reason. And when I sleep better, I am more successful the next day, as I'm sure that you have noticed yourself as well. The sixth technique that I use, the sixth journaling technique, is my daily stamp journal. This activity that I do next has been life-changing for me and I complete my daily stamp journal which has nine journal prompts that I answer every single day. All nine questions are immensely powerful and I couldn't imagine not ending my day by answering these questions and I'll just go over a few of the sections in my journal now. Number seven, set daily goals. The first section of the daily stamp journal is a section for listing the goals that I plan to achieve the next day. I add my stamp six, which includes my three G goals to my daily journal to keep myself focused on my bigger goals and make sure I am working towards them every day. Number eight, reject disbelief. After that, I cast my mind back over my day and I notice how I feel about my goals. And I answer the question, what's holding me back from achieving my goals? And this is such a powerful question because it gives you so much insight into the things that are blocking your success. Number nine, brain stamps. Now I write at least one brain stamp, which is a positive statement, something that I actually want to believe and affirm. And I have shared some of the things I do in my stamp journal, but most of them are described in my other piece of content. So go and check that out now as I go into much more detail about that there. And that piece of content was called how I use my daily stamp journal for business elevation. Number 10, random ramblings. Random ramblings is my name for free writing. The purpose of this type of journaling is to get your higher self or God's words to flow through you onto the page and I don't always do this but if I have something big on my mind I always try and do this and I feel like so many answers come to me after I've done this process. Number 11, journal prompts. I also love to use journal prompts on a regular basis. Journal prompts are, are questions that get you to think very deeply about things that are important to you. Answering questions in your journal really helps you to uncover things to work through and get ideas flowing. Number 12, monthly stamp planning. At the end of every month, I take some time to plan my business success manifestations for the following month. Planning my manifestations is my secret weapon when it comes to rapidly growing my business every month. All planning is, is just making a decision. It's just deciding what you want. And manifestation always starts with deciding what you want. If you don't decide what you want, things will never improve for you. And you can see an example of me walking through my monthly stamp planning process by clicking the link in the blog post or if you're on the YouTube channel or the podcast, you can just scroll down and you will see my stamp planning process there and I walk you through that entire process. 
Number 13, monthly stamp reflections. At the start of a new month, I spend one day logging my results from the previous month and doing my finances. I calculate all of my expenses, my revenue, my profit from the previous month. And then I move on to a really fun task that I really look forward to called my monthly stamp reflection. And this is like a manifestation report where I go over my goals to see what I've achieved and do my manifestation boards at the same time. Every month I share my own manifestation report publicly on my blog, my YouTube channel and my podcast. So you can go and check that out, check out my manifestation results from a few months ago because I'm always ahead with my content. So I share it from a few months ago and every month I share the next month with you. So go and check that out as well. One of my biggest secrets to success is to set up regular routines that I call success rituals for performing manifestation techniques that I use to manifest massive business success. And a lot of people ask me how to set up success rituals for business manifestation that aren't overwhelming or too time consuming. And I have created a business manifestation toolkit where I share all of the tools that you need for manifesting business success and they easily slot into your morning routine, your evening routine and your normal monthly routines and your working day. This easy to use toolkit includes all of the tools, techniques and routines that I use consistently to manifest success in your business and you can get that by going to kathkyle.com forward slash manifestation toolkit. So make sure you don't miss my next podcast episode by subscribing to my podcast Manifest Business Success. I also will send you an email when my next piece of content has arrived and I give away so many free gifts to my email subscribers and you can subscribe by opting into any of my free gifts such as my free Manifestation Milestones board pack. This pack is the ultimate motivator to help you manifest more business success. From this one pack, you can create both a vision board and an achievement board to help you feel good about what you've already achieved and manifest even more. This Manifestation Milestones board printable pack will help you to recognize and celebrate all of the amazing milestones and goals that you are achieving in your business, which is so exciting. And I also have a full video showing you exactly what it looks like and how to make it, which I share when you opt in for this free gift. And you can get that by going to kathkyle.com forward slash milestones. So now it's your turn to go and put your stamp on the world.